Uh, correspondent Jim Spillman's also been monitoring the ship salvage operation. He joins us now in the studio. And Jim, we're talking about a maritime disaster. I mean, it's 65 years in the making. It's unfolding right here. It's a really an amazing feat that we're watching. Since the sun came up just a few hours ago, the progress that's been made is really remarkable. Take a look at this. The blue part that you can see right here, that's the top of the boat. The parts that we were seeing earlier that are white are the side and the hull, the bottom of the boat is black. And I want to go back just a couple hours, not long after the sun came up, about three hours ago. Take a look at these images here. This is the bottom of the boat. What we were just seeing a few minutes ago, this is the other side of the boat. And you can see they put in these hooks, they welded hooks to the bottom of this boat, attached cables that went over the side, back around up, and they head up into the large cranes. This boat's about 75 meters long to give you a little bit of a, of a sense of, of the size that we're talking here. You can see the, the rudder right there. Now there's several boats uh, that are involved in this process. The main are these two large 500 ton salvage ships. You can see them here with these large cranes. They're going down and that's what started just a couple of hours ago. It's remarkable the progress they've made. Let's go back to the live pictures now so we can see how far they've come in that short amount of time. Now to, some of the boat has actually submerged more as they flipped it over. You heard uh, about the weight distribution. Another thing in play here, Mike, is the whole reason they've moved so quickly to this salvage operation is, is out of respect for the dead that are inside this boat and respect for their families. They know that as they turn this over, windows, water will be displaced, windows may break open, portholes. They want to be sure that they go very gently and gingerly to make sure that everybody is treated with the utmost amount of respect. But this kind of progress is remarkable. I mean, it was only two hours ago that they really started pulling, and already now we can see uh, the top of the ship. This is some uh, pictures of this was in progress here. I wouldn't be surprised at this point if they feel like they're they're really making some progress, Mike. In the rescue recovery effort, you know, it's, it's worth noting that over the last few days, we've seen just about everything. I mean, murky water, terrible weather conditions. Even today, at one point, uh, Prior to us going on the air, there were concerns that the fog was so bad that they even couldn't go forward with this operation. And look how quickly they've done as much as they have. The water here normally, and at the time of the accident, it's about 15 meters deep. Upriver at the Three Gorges Dam, they were able to reduce the flow of the water to bring that down and give them a little bit better working conditions. Still very murky, very cold for the divers. Not easy circumstances at all. It's like trying to do an operation where the environment is completely changing at all times. The bottom of the river, the flow of the water, temperature, the weather above water, there are fears of rain coming up soon. Even, even since we just started broadcasting a few minutes ago, you can see now the roof is essentially level, though submerged. The next step will be to slowly bring it up. Partly that will be by removing water from these various uh, rooms inside the boat. There we have a closer shot of it, and you can see that it looks like they've really done the whole flip over where the boat is now upright. Next step, as I mentioned, will be bringing it straight up. And uh, the Yangtze River, uh, it's worth noting, not too long ago, a week, two, two weeks ago, you were there at the yeah, Yangtze I was, River. Yeah, I was in, in, in Chongqing, China, uh, along the Yangtze, where this boat was headed, its final destination. Huge river. It, it's, the, it's really the heart of the central part of China, huge part of the economy, huge part of the sort of industrial middle uh, of the country here, and a huge part, I think, of the identity of the country uh, as well. You can see w how big the river is and, and what a challenge it must be to put this operation together so quickly. Clearly, they were planning this even as they were doing the search and rescue. Longest river in Asia, third longest in the world, and uh, we're watching an amazing uh, feat underway there. Thanks so much, Jim.